एवरी वन वेलकम टू जे जी केमिस्ट्री इन टूडेज क्लास वे गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द नंबर ऑफ सिग्नल्स इन सी एम आर लेट्स बिगिन सी एम आर इज थर्टीन सी एन एम आर एंड वील सी हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द नंबर ऑफ सिग्नल्स हियर बेसिकली इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड प्रोटोन एन एम आर यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट हियर वी हैव केमिकली डिस्टिंक्ट टाइप ऑफ कार्बन्स और केमिकली equivalent type of carbon so basically if you have chemically distinct type of carbons that will give you independent signal we'll see by taking one example here as you can see in this molecule you have three methyl here all the three methyls are in the chemically equivalent environment same environment so will give you only one signal same signal represented by a here then you have a quaternary carbon which will give you a separate signal and then you have ch2 and ch3 respectively will give a separate signal so therefore for this particular molecule you will assume and see four signals in the c13 nmr the next molecule you can find here a symmetry with respect to oh group and so each carbon here with respect to this symmetry will give one signal so you can see a carbon which is attached to the oh group will give you a signal and then the b which is represented here is a chemically equivalent carbon so will give you same signal similarly you have signal c the two carbons are chemically equivalent and will give you same signal and finally the fourth carbon here will give you a separate signal so basically for this molecule total you will find four signals in c13 nmr which are chemically distinguished carbon here in this molecule you can find out a symmetry with respect to the double bond so only half of the molecule will show the signal as you can see with respect to the symmetry the two carbons a signal b and c so total three signals you can find out for this molecule in c13 nmr in this particular example we will find the symmetry with respect to the carbonyl group and all the carbons which are chemically distinguished will give a separate signal chemically equivalent will, will give you the same signal so we will start with the carbonyl carbon here the quaternary carbon also gives you the signal so carbonyl carbon will give you a signal a and then you have two chemically equivalent carbon with respect to carbonyl b will give you a separate signal and then you have respected signal c and then finally a carbon which gives you a separate signal is d here so basically total four signals you will get for this molecule so four signal means you have four chemically distinct carbons in this molecule you can see a toluene where how many signals we can expect in carbon 13 for this molecule so methyl will give you a separate signal a quaternary carbon of the aromatic ring which is attached to the methyl will give you a separate signal b and then rest of the carbon uh, with respect to this uh, sub mono substituted will give you a separate signal c and then d and finally the e is a chemically distinguished carbon here and so you will get total five signals in this molecule for carbon 13 nmr here also you can find out we have two methyl groups which are chemically dis, uh, similar or equivalent because both are in the same environment so will give you as the same signal here then comes the next carbon b and then c signal d all the carbons are chemically distinguished and finally you have ester carbonyl here which will give you a separate signal e and you have methyl group this methyl group which is attached to the carbonyl is chemically distinguished from the methyls which are attached to the ch group so both are having the chemically distinguished environment and so this methyl also will give you a separate signal and total you can calculate there are six signals in c13 nmr for this molecule now you can find out how many signals we have calculated for this ch3 ch2 separate signal and 
for since it is paired i substituted you can see the aromatic ring is giving you total four signals here and finally the aldehyde carbon will give you a separate signal so you can calculate and find out total seven signals we are getting for this molecule in cmr here in this molecule you can see there are four ch2 group and each ch2 will give you a separate signal being in a chemically separate environment maybe the chemical shift value difference will be less but you can find all the ch2 in carbon 13 nmr and so you will get total five signals for this molecule for carbon in c13 nmr next example you can see here again and calculate we have 1 2 3 4 4 and 4 for the aromatic ring total eight signals for this molecule for carbon 13 in cmr for alkene also you can find out there are two methyl groups are present in this particular example and both methyls are in the chemically distinguished environment first methyl which is i have given signal a is attached to the ch2 group while the other methyl which is attached to the alkene group so all both are chemically distinguished and will give you a separate signal so you can give a b ch2 give, will give you a separate signal the carbon ch for alkene will give a separate signal the quaternary carbon of the alkene will give you a separate signal here d and acidic carbonyl will also give you a separate signal f so if you calculate there are total six signal for this molecule which you can find out in c13 nmr and we have the technique uh, to distinguish ch2 ch3 and ch groups by using dept technique which i will discuss in the next video how to distinguish whether you have how many ch3 in your unknown molecule how many ch2 are there and how many ch are there so we will find that by using dept technique now if they give you this example and uh, they have given you the isomers and ask you can you distinguish these three isomers by using uh, cmr technique or which technique you will use to distinguish these three isomers then uh, let's say if they are talking about cmr so if they ask you whether it is possible to distinguish we'll see that first molecule which is ortho di substituted you have uh, a mirror plane here the center uh, here you have the symmetry plane of symmetry is present with respect to that there are three different type of carbon a b and c so you will get three signal for the first isomer for meta di substituted you can see here as i have labeled here a b for the two carbons which are attached to the chlorine and then you have respected signal c and then d so total four signals you are assuming for the meta di substituted and for para di substituted you can see one signal we will get for the carbon which is attached to the chlorine and the other signal we will get for the four carbon which are chemically equivalent and will give you a separate signal one signal so for this particular isomer we will get two signals and as you can see here we are getting since separate signals 2 3 and 4 we can distinguish these three isomers by using c13 nmr similar kind of example where they have given you the isomers three isomers are given here whether is it possible to distinguish by using c13 we'll see first example where you have symmetry with respect to the oxygen so you will get two signals for the first molecule and the second isomer all the carbons are chemically distinguished and so it will give you four signals and the last isomer the two ch3 are chemically equivalent will give you same signal and so you will get three signal for this particular isomer and you can notice that we are getting separate signals 2 3 and 4 for different isomers and so we can distinguish these three isomers by using c13 nmr so this is the way you can find out how many number of signals you can assume for respected molecule in c13 nmr see you in the next video till then happy learning